I take the orders in my bakery, and uh, uh, so I always have a long line, and recently this really old lady got on my line, like very, very old, like, like uh, she wasn't the first woman ever, but like, you know, like, like maybe she knew her, you know, like really, really old, and uh, so she gets in my line, and she's like, excuse me, can I have a sex? And I was like, what? She's like, can I have a sex? I was like, what? You know, so I started like leaning in, I'm getting leaning, I'm getting closer and closer. And so she starts leaning, she's getting closer and closer. And I'm like, what? She coughed in my mouth. Like, but, but like, and it's, yeah, gross, but also suspiciously accurate shot. For someone that old, pretty good shot. Uh, a little suspicious. Um, and then she's like, yeah, can I have it? I'm like, oh, we're not going back to your order. <laughs> this, this is a different relationship now, all right? We're not the same people we were 10 seconds ago, okay? You don't get to cough some 3,000 year old Egyptian curse into my mouth and then start talking to me about birthday cake, all right? That's not how this is gonna work, all right? It's all scarab come out of there, you kidding me? What's your game, lady? You're gonna start getting all young again all of a sudden and I start getting real old? I gotta, real old. I gotta find a young person to cough into their mouth? I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. This dies with me, this dies with me. I'm here all the time, but these hotels fuck you on the prices. They fuck you so bad. I'm staying at Circus Circus. I'm not trying to brag. The shit was $70 on Priceline. I check in this asshole behind the front desk. He's like, well, Eric, we need to authorize your credit card an extra $65 for incidentals. I'm like, I don't know what that means. He's like, well, that's in case you damage the room. We charge you $65. I'm like, it's only $65 to trash this room. I'll throw the fucking TV out the window. Are you serious? I'll burn this shithole to the ground. $65, that's the cheapest thing to do in Vegas. David Copperfield's a hundred bucks. I'll make shit disappear myself. Where's the coffee machine? Abracadabra. Then they're like, it's an extra $25 for the resort fee. Oh, the res resort? Resort? I'm sorry, is this sandals in Jamaica or Circus Circus? Where's the fucking beats by the trapeze or the clown call? This is a goddamn Motel 6 with a fucking clown on the walls. What is this piece of shit resort fee? Like, oh, that's to use the phone in your room. Oh, well, thank Jesus, there's a phone in my room. I don't have a cell phone, you fucking idiot. It's only 2017. I've been waiting to use the circus circus landline. I've been trying to call the bearded lady for months. Wait, tell her to shave and meet me at the buffet. I am so horny right now. Like, no, you can call other rooms in the hotel. I don't know anyone fucking staying at Circus Circus. You think I rented this shit out for a family reunion? We're having Nana's birthday under the big top this year. Who decorated this hotel, Satan? There are creepy ass clowns all over the walls. I'm terrified of this shit. Give me money, give me $25 for therapy. Cause someone painted fucking Stephen King's it behind my bed. I just shit in my pajamas. They have the nerve to have souvenirs. Like I want people to know I stayed at Circus Circus. Like I'm walking around in a fucking circus shirt. Room 18! Give me a shirt that says the Bellagio. They should sell that in the lobby. Then we go on like flapjacks. Give me a hat that says I didn't stay at Circus Circus. Give me the fuck Circus Circus koozie. Give me three of those. Even the slot machine sucks. You hit the jackpot, you get to go to another hotel. That's the problem. Ding, ding, ding! You're going to Hooters. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus has blessed us with Hooters. Tired of it. And these gift shops in this hotel, this is an atrocity. I know prices are jacked up because it's Vegas, but is a Sierra Mist is $7. You people should burn in hell for this. 
How much is a Sprite? A million dollars? I'm playing craps. Like, what are you trying to win? A fucking bag of chips. I'm stuck. Give me some Doritos on eight. Please, God. I'm gambling with real chips. Put the ruffles on the field. I need more chips. Anyone here from Texas? <laughs> and you're proud? <laughs> I, <laughs> I went to Texas and I drove across the state because I had two months with nothing to do. <laughs> Nebraska? That sounds a hell of a lot, Nebraska. Nebraska's boring, but smaller. But Texas, they, yeah. they can attest to this. If you drive across Texas, you can fall asleep Wake up three hours later, your car's fine, you're fine, nothing's changed. <laughs> I was driving across, the, I, I just, I wanted out of Texas so bad, I'm doing 90 miles an hour. A like, couple miles ahead, I see one bird standing on the side of the road. As I get closer, it takes a step towards the center of the road. I'm like, don't do it. Just as I get there, it jumps in front of my car. I, get, <laughs> I look in the rear view, feathers are just flying. I'm like, oh God, I felt terrible. Then I realized that bird wanted out of Texas as much as I do. It, it must've been thinking I have been flying for three fucking days. Nothing's changed. I see a car, I'm taking my shot. I mean, I've been all over this country. Anyone from Georgia? You? Ah, uh, you found that hole in the fence and got out. <laughs> the dumbest people I've ever met in my life are from Georgia. I'm just saying, nothing personal. I'm sure you're lovely. I, but, exactly. Weirdest damn thing in Georgia. I got pulled over by something I'd never seen before, a dwarf highway patrolman. Walked up to my car, looked like a pair of boots with sunglasses. Comes up, he's like, let me see your license and registration. Yeah. Looks at my license, he's like, California, huh? You know where you are now, boy? I'm like, yeah, Oz. <laughs> you must be one of the lollipop men. <laughs> Another person, no sense of humor. You never want to get strip searched by a dwarf. They have stubby fingers. All right, that one was just me. But from there, I went and worked in the Cayman Islands, which was awesome. It was amazing. If you ever get a chance, go. But you will hear people on vacation ask some stupid questions. I'm on the boat in the islands, and this woman looks at the guy completely seriously. He says, excuse me, but does this island go all the way to the bottom? <laughs> No, we anchored here in the spring. <laughs> then this woman looks at him completely seriously and says, now is the moon that you see here, is that the same moon we see in the States? <laughs> Pastor, where are you from? Georgia. I heard tri <laughs> Alabama, shit. <laughs> they can just use one toothbrush in that state. <laughs> and it won't be busy. <laughs> I've been in hotel rooms now for like three weeks straight. Just in random ass hotel rooms doing dumb stuff. I bought a cantaloupe. <laughs> Y'all don't even see it. You know how big of a dumbass you feel like when you buy a cantaloupe, get back to the room and don't have shit to cut it open with? <laughs> now I can't even reheat my Chinese food in the microwave because of the metal wire at the top. <laughs> I want to put it in the microwave, but we still don't know what happens. <laughs> and I can't risk it because I don't want to be the reason we create a new warning sign. <laughs> Because we all know every warning sign started with one dumbass. That's why you can no longer dive in the shallow end. Because one day some dude went for it. He's like, I'm going to dive here where it's safe, where the water comes to my knees. Even 
seen in the lobby? You guys seen the vending machine? You seen the warning sticker on the vending machine? It shows a guy with the machine like this. Because I guess the machine collapsed and murdered his ass. I wish I could have met that dude. To see how bad he needed that granola bar. He must have snapped that day like, ah! Then the machine was like, man, forget this shit. I would hate to get that eulogy. We are gathered here today to find out what a man did for a Klondike bar. That's my biggest fear, dying hilarious. I don't want the funny part to be why I died. This poor guy, they're giving a sermon. They're like, well, how'd he die? Well, you know he loves snacks, right? <laughs> Sometimes they don't even put up the warning sign. They make the decision for you. That's why hotel windows don't open. <laughs> they open this much because they don't want you to commit suicide. I get it. I get it. I get why the window on the 10th floor doesn't open, but how come the window on the first floor don't open? <laughs> that jump won't hurt. <laughs> Hell, after that, you might regain the will to live. <laughs> I made it, God has a plan for me. A lot of gay dudes in Hollywood too, which I got no problem with. I figure the more good looking guys who are attracted to other good looking guys, the better shot I've got. <laughs> Some of my neighbors are gay, and that kind of concerns me. Shit, what if they convert me? <laughs> what, gay guys are smooth. What if they come knocking on my door? I'm lonely, depressed. <laughs> Far from home, out of Paxil. <laughs> come knocking like a couple of Mormon. Hello. <laughs> We'd just like to speak to you about our lifestyle. Like you would, huh? All right, what the hell? Come on in. Starts out slow, my apartment's cleaner than I'm dressing neater. Next thing you know, I'm sucking Peter. This would be a good time to remind you, these are just jokes. Being gay is not a choice. Every people say that shit, they choose that lifestyle. You don't choose to be gay. You're born that way. Like my friend's kid is gay. He doesn't know it yet, but I do. <laughs> He's only seven, but all the signs are there. <laughs> we were watching the Super Bowl, and for no reason he goes, yesterday the neighbor was washing his truck with his shirt off. I was like, what? He goes, just saying. <laughs> My buddy's like, yeah, I don't know, man. He just says that shit. <laughs> Comes out of nowhere. It's not from nowhere. It's from a gay place. 